The Jeopard Flak Panzer, a tracked, self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, SPAAG, platform arriving from West Germany during the Cold War, was built atop the existing, and proven, chassis of the Leopard 1 main battle tank, MBT, and served mobile anti-aircraft artillery battalions of the West. It featured twin, 35mm autocannons in a traversing turret and could fire a variety of air-exploding ammunition including APG, armor-piercing high-explosive, and HEI, high-explosive incendiary, rounds. The primary purpose of the system was in combating low-flying ground attack craft and helicopters featured by the Soviet Union and Eastern Bloc nations. The automotive components of the Jeopard retained the same power pack of the Leopard 1 MBT and was operated by a crew of three comprising of a driver, commander, and gunner. A separate power pack was also included to drive the onboard tracking system. The turret fitted a complete fire control system, FCS, full tracking and search radar functionality, and its guns were capable of 550 rounds per minute rate of fire with a maximum effective range out to about 3,500 meters, approximately 2.2 miles. The vehicle weighed 52.5 tons, short, and had an overall length of 25 feet, width of 12 feet, and a height of 10.9 feet, with the radar unit retracted. The weapons were 2x35mm Erlikon GDF automatic cannons with the onboard ammunition stock being a mix of anti-aircraft, AA, 320 projectiles each gun, and anti-tank, AT, 20 projectiles each gun, to make the vehicle as versatile as possible, especially considering the enemy of the day was the Soviet Union and its massive tank-centric army. Beyond this, the vehicle carried 76mm smoke grenade dischargers in twin banks of four launchers each mounted at the lower sides of the turret for self-screening measures. Armor protection was of conventional steel, giving it resistance against small arms, artillery, spray, and some larger caliber weapons. Drive power was from a single MTU 10-cylinder, multi-fuel engine outputting 830 horsepower to a conventional track and wheel arrangement. This involved seven rubber-tired road wheels to each hole side with the drive sprocket at rear and the track idler at front. Four track return rollers were featured along each hole side to help drive the track links about. As the Jeopard relied on the Leopard 1 chassis, the driver's position was at front right, the commander and gunner in the traversing turret. Cross-country travel was aided by a full torsion bar suspension system. Operational range was out to 340 miles and maximum road speeds could reach 40 miles per hour. The German army retired its last Jeopard systems in 2010 to make room for a new, more modern solution based on the GTK Boxer multi-role wheeled vehicle. The Dutch version fitted a different radar system than the German offering but lost little of its lethality. The armies of Brazil, ex-German stock, Jordan, ex-Dutch stock, and Romania, ex-German stock, still utilized the Jeopard system. Belgium and Chile have joined Germany and the Netherlands in retiring the platform in full. Over 500 examples were produced.